Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm really excited about today's video. It's gonna be like a little trip down memory lane. So a lot of times on our social media posts, you'll see lots of different pictures, lots of different versions of Kim. So I've been modeling for four years and in that four years, I would say that I've grown a lot by hairstyles, changing my makeup, like figuring out my body and like learning how to pose. And I think it's the funniest thing ever when an old picture of me comes up and there's comments that are like, oh my gosh, is that the same person? Or I love your hair, you look so great here. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's like from four years ago, <laughs> you can. Um, so we're gonna kind of like go through some pictures, um, a little trip, like I said, down memory lane. And then we made like a tier chart and I'm gonna rate my pictures. Um, and maybe if I have any funny stories behind them or just like my personal thoughts on whoever this person is in the picture, we're gonna kind of go through that and then we're gonna put them in a tear chart and I think it'll be a lot of fun and then you guys can comment and say funny things about it too because listen, I know, I know. In <laughs> some of these pictures, I just a rough time and we were learning. So always good to have some growth in that too. So um, we'll go ahead and jump into our first picture and maybe we can have some fun times doing this now. All right, so we're gonna start back way back in the day. This is me from four years ago. Honestly, like, I don't even know who this person is. <laughs> um, I, for, I don't know how to, I did it. I kinda know now a little bit more. I, obviously, I didn't know how to do my makeup because my eyes are so dark and it's just like I loved eyeliner, so I just like globbed it on there. And then um, I didn't know how to contour, so like you can't even see my nose. <laughs> Um, and this is when I first ventured out, if you believe it or not, like I'm actually wearing extensions in this picture and it doesn't look like it, but the hair is so dry. So it like scrunched up and it's like just really gross. I can just tell like personally, like one, I'm excited because I just started modeling, right? So it's a fun gig. And then two, I have no idea what to do with my body. Like it looks so stiff. I mean, like I, I don't hate it because like that was somebody who, you know, like just got into modeling and somebody thought I was good enough to come back. So like that part of it, I'm okay with, but like honestly, just looking at her, like she's just such a baby. So I'm 30 now, so I was 20, 25, almost 26, I guess when this happened. And um, I can just, I look like I'm 19, 18 or 19 years old. Yeah, so if I'm gonna rate this picture, I would literally say this is probably, my, maybe not like my first set of modeling pictures, but I would say this is like two months in to the modeling world. Um, so I'm gonna put this one up here to where it says like literal baby, because yes, that is who this is. Bless her heart. As a Southern woman know, bless her heart. Not great, not great. Lots of improvement. <laughs> okay, um, the next picture I'm gonna go to is one that I find myself laughing at all the time. Like, I know that I have friends and I'm just upset that my friends didn't tell me, hey, this is not, this is not the look. First of all, I have two different color hair going on, right? So I am all for extensions. I love extensions. I've been wearing them since I started, just really figuring out more how to like actually make the extensions look right. But I wanted platinum hair. I wanted the bright blonde hair. So that's the extensions that I got. However, my natural hair was not platinum. So you can see that my hair is like brown on top and then I've got these bright extensions on the bottom. Plus you add in that bold red lip with your white pale body. It's just not great. And the fact that nobody told me that, I'm a little hurt. Honestly, I'm a little hurt about it because this was just not great. And then I used to always like pin my hair up to the side. I'm not really sure what that phase was, but I did that for like the first two years while I was here. And so then like you can clearly see where my hair was like attached. And then you've got like this big lump coming out of the side of my head and that I thought looked great. So I'm really upset about myself. I'm really upset at my friends. You guys should be upset too. That, that hurts a little. Nobody told me. <laughs> it's awful. So I'm gonna put this picture into not the look. This is not it. This is not a go-to kind of version of me. I wouldn't say that, like, I think that I, like, as far as like the modeling goes, like this is when I first started like trying to like look off camera. <laughs> if you don't know anything about posing, it's very awkward, right? Because you're standing there and you're trying to like not do the same thing over and over, which I still kind of do the same thing. 
over and over, I feel like I'm better at like moving my body some. With this kind of like market and like what we do, I'm, I can only do a certain amount of things and we like consistency. So I'm trying, like I usually only stick to like the first three, three things, but so you're in a room uh, when you're doing a photo shoot and it's like you and the photographer and your stylist. And I want to say I had a new photographer when this started. So I was like, okay, I'm going to try something new, but don't laugh at me because I don't know what it's going to be like. And we were like all under the agreement that there'd be no laughing happening. And so I would just like turn my head and like look off to the side. And then I was like, okay, what happens if I like grab my hair a little bit? Like, what does that look like? So, um, and I'm an awkward person anyhow. And I'm like, really, I get embarrassed kind of easily. So I was like, okay, we're going to try this. And this is what happened. But yeah, not the look. This is, this is not great. Mm -mm. Glad we got out of that phase here. So there's that. So for the next picture, I'm going to take it to um, the platinum hair of Kim. So this is when I finally got my roots to match my extensions, which was a huge deal. Um, but then I can still see that my extensions had uh, kind of, I don't know. I don't really know. I mean, like I don't hate it. And this, I just still look like such a baby. This is when we first kind of started doing outdoor shoots, I would say. Um, so this one is just like, here I am, I'm outside and I'm standing and there's a pocket on my dress. So let me put my hand in there. So like, you know, I can still just tell like I'm really, really stiff in the picture. So I still hadn't really learned much about like moving my body and trying to like work with what I have. Yeah, I mean like, it's just funny. It's just really funny to kind of go back and like look at different phases of what this was. So this would be the time, I don't know if you've seen any of our other previous videos, but I did a Q and A and told a funny story. This is when I was still changing in a tent outside. And so that one, it was probably, if this is like a springtime dress, we usually start shooting spring wear kind of like in February. So honestly, I'm probably freezing in this picture. And I'm really just standing there to try to contain some warmth inside of my body. So it, I mean, like it, it's a pretty photo. It has, looks like it's sunny and warm outside, but it's not. It's actually freezing cold outside. So, and then I still hadn't really like learned to do my makeup. It's gotten better. I would say I've kind of like started taking up contouring a little bit. My eyebrows are still a little dark. And then um, I hadn't figured out the tan, which I still haven't figured out the tan. So that's just nothing new. So if I had to rate this picture, like I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I think that I was like still like trying to come up with who I was as a person. So I'm going to say I'm okay with it. Like this one is okay. I'm not, I'm not, I don't hate it. She's learning and we love another good learning moment here for this one. So I guess I'm going to do, okay, this is one cause this one's gonna be, this one's wild. Okay, again, I, mm -mm. this is sad. This is a sad moment to look at. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start with the hair at first. Um, so hair, is like my comfort level. Like if I'm having a good hair day, I usually feel okay with myself. Like I'm not, I don't, I feel like I can make a hoover day if I'm having a good hair day. So this one, not really sure what happened. Uh, part of my hair is yellow. Like there's actual yellow spot in the bottom of my hair. It's like down here on the left side of my hair. The bold eyebrows, half of my face is white, half of it is contoured, dark eyeshadow, dark lips. I was trying. You know, I was just trying. It's a good trying moment. Um, I'm not even sure what my hair is doing. It looked like I had it curly, but then I straightened it. And one of my eyes is like taller than the other. So the fact that I've been able to do this for four years after this picture, you guys must really love me. And thank you. Thank you for that because this is wild. I'm embarrassed about this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm embarrassed. Uh, you know, there's just not much to say with it. So this one I'm gonna go to, um, I don't, I'm just gonna go who is she because I don't even feel like, if you look at me right now, look at me and then look at this. Look at me and then look at this. How is this the same person? It's not. This is a sad, sad moment for you, Kim. I think the next picture we'll do is uh, taking it back to another baby Kim. So this one is like a recent one that just came back on social media. And I love hearing the comments when this picture posts because it's always, I love your hair. Or they always tell me like, oh, you've lost weight. Oh, you like, is that the same person? And. And then like, if you like scroll next to it and there's like a more recent picture and I'm like, how do you, I mean, like, I know that I look different, right? I know that I look different, but this was again, like the first 
couple months of me modeling, uh, I, I just look like a baby. And again, with like the short hair, the contrast on there, like you can't even see my eyeballs. I like have like the big, I have a huge smile in this picture and that's really good to see too. I am just a little baby and my hair is, I feel like I'm always talking about my hair. It's like my, it's like my thing, right? It's awful, it looks terrible. I'm so sad for you Kim. <laughs> but I thought I was killing it so. That's all that matters, right? But this one is just like, this is Baby Kim. This is one of our like best-selling shirts. It always like sells out, but it's so funny to read the comments. So if I had to rate this one, I'm kind of between. I'm kind of like a literal baby or who is she? Because I still kind of like recognize myself, but again, like I'm 25 in this picture. I'm 30 now, this is five years ago. So I think I'm still gonna put her in a, like a literal baby because that's what I was, I was new. I'm new to this. I don't know who I am as a person. I don't know. I don't know what to do. So let's take it into. Let's do one that I kind of like. Like that's a good option. Okay, I'll do one that I like because this one is good. So this one kind of had my hair figured out, right? So my hair looks good. It's all like the nice natural like blend of extensions with my real hair. This one is from. I want to say this is from last year. Now this is like pre-pandemic Kim, which is a weird thing. And um, I was. I remember this day because we actually were shooting. We had just started spring again. So this was like January and the wind was blowing really hard. It was freezing cold. When I tell you it was 25 degrees, like I'm not lying to you, it was 25 degrees and we started shooting spring wear. So I'm in, uh, luckily I'm in a long sleeve shirt, but this material was like not thin. So it like wasn't keeping me warm. And I can tell in my smile, I'm like, please hurry up and take the picture so I can go get back in the van. I'd moved up to a van, right? So we progressed from the changing outside in a tent and now I have a van that we change in. There's actually a person on the other side of the camera, the stylist at the time, and they had a huge robe for me, like a big Jedi, huge fluffy, nice robe and so as soon as the picture was over they'd bundle me up in the robe until we got to do that because like on an outdoor shoot right you're taking like a lot of pictures and you have to do videos and you have to do different kind of things so it takes a little bit longer and so we'd throw the robe on and I'd run to the van and then like right after this I came out in shorts and a t-shirt and I was like in the robe um, but this uh, this version of Kim I feel like is kind of like still the same one that I am now learning how to move a little bit you can see like my shoulders aren't as stiff and Kind of got like a little bit of hand movement going on in the picture. So I feel like this one is still kind of like who I am today. My hair is a little bit darker at the moment, but I had learned up some makeup, finally got the right lipstick color match going on. Um, so I like this picture. This one I'm gonna go with yes ma'am because I feel like I'm okay. I feel like I'm okay in that picture. I'm not too shabby, I'm not too shabby. All right, so our next picture is gonna come with a fun story time. So this picture, we're actually in Napa Valley. We got to do a Napa Valley trip, not last year, but the year before. I was actually super, super anxious about this trip. Um, I really have a comfort level, and my comfort level is being at home. And I really am not, I'm a homebody, I'm kind of like a hermit. So like trying to branch out, one, and fly across the country to a place I've never been. Two, I was with a bunch of influencers who have such a great like social media platform and so it's kind of like nerve-wracking walking into an environment with people that you don't know um, and you're getting ready to spend like a week and shoot with them so I was nervous about that and um, I can just see the nerves like all over my face like trying to shoot and I also am still like even today like I get really self-conscious while I'm shooting because I mean it is awkward you've got like a crew around you and you've got like one person taking the pictures and like one person controlling Controlling like the set and then you have like your videographer and then you have your stylist and like every now and then you'll have other models with you and it just kind of, I mean like it's just nerve-wracking it is just like it is what it is um, for me anyways um, so I can just see like I am so nervous this is the first day we were shooting out at the house in Napa Valley and so I can like see it like it doesn't even look like me I don't think like I was even really ready <laughs> for the picture um, I was just like how fast can I get this done? And then I can go and then like, kind of like breathe in my room for a minute and kind of like get away from the craziness of the day. So this one was, it was a fun trip. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, we had so much fun. It was such a great experience, but I can just tell, and I got better. 
as the day, like as like the couple days like went by and I was kind of like more comfortable with everybody there and kind of like what we were doing. But I can just see the nerves and like my hands, like, okay, they call that the tiny purse, right? So you're like, you like hold your hands like this and I kind of do that a lot here. And you're just kind of like supposed to like daintily like hold your hands. And I am like hardcore gripping in the picture. Like I am like holding on so tight and like take my picture. And I feel like this was just like a huge learning moment for me, but this is, um, I don't even know who, uh, cause I don't want to do like, who is she? Because like, I know, I know what's happening in here, but I don't feel like it's the best picture of me ever. So I'm going to do not the look. This is not it. I don't feel like I really looked like that the whole trip, but that's okay. It was a fun, fun time. So like, even if like, if you have, like if you're trying to get into modeling or like you're being like an influencer, like it's totally normal to feel awkward. And like, even if you were like trying to come and model for us, like it's okay to be awkward. I'm awkward. I live for being awkward. Sometimes it comes across in pictures and this is the moment that it happened. <laughs> so our next one, this one also, I can do a story time on this one. So this one was during slouchy season and we love slouchy season here at Cheek Soul. Um, I was actually still in college when this picture was taken. I had gone from, my school was two hours away from Auburn. So I had to like go to school and sit in school and it was raining outside and I just knew that it was gonna be canceled. Like I knew the shoot was gonna be canceled. So I wasn't gonna be like stressing out about trying to get over here. And it didn't get canceled cause like the rain had like cleared up a little bit but it was still like sprinkling outside. The humidity was awful. The wind was blowing. So I am smiling but I'm so annoyed in this picture. And um, it's really funny because you guys don't really see <laughs> <laughs> that part of that, but I was just like coming up. And so even if like, again, like I think I had to put my makeup on in the car to try to get here cause I didn't put it on for school, which was dumb on my part cause I should have just like been prepared. But um, my eyebrows, again, I was in the dark brow moment and we were living for that. And I was like, how many pictures are we gonna take? Because I still had to like go home and do schoolwork. And I think I had something probably, it probably had like something due at the time because I was a horrible college student and didn't do my work. But this was a fun moment of, again, I, and then I hate shooting in the rain. It is not fun for all parties involved. So shooting in the rain, I was annoyed because I like had stuff to do and then I was like, okay, I have to come in here. And then when I took, I still lived like an hour away from work. So then I had to like drive home and try to get stuff done. So you guys always see the glitz and the glamor of it, but there are things that sometimes are not glitz and glamorous about it. And this is one of those moments. So I'm gonna do um, not the look because you can't, you shouldn't be annoyed in pictures. Even if you are, don't let it show. <laughs> All right, so now I wanna talk about just some times that like I really felt like I have, um, that I really liked. And um, I think it's harder too, like when you see yourself all the time, like you always are gonna be like very nitpicky. So there are things that like I see in pictures that most of you like don't see at all. But after you've seen yourself in like so many different stages of life and like different transformations, and then like I just like literally see me everywhere all the time. Um, so we need to talk some positiveness into it. So this one is actually from my very first swim shoot. This was last year when we first launched our swim. And I'm really proud of it just because like one, I have never really worn swimsuits before. Before. I would always just wear shorts and a t-shirt to different places and even if I did have a swimsuit on I made sure that like I just was like completely covered I didn't want anything to show I was just like very self-conscious in it so this is the first time that I did this and um, Faith was our photographer for this and she helped me out a lot just like how to kind of like place your legs and like standing up on your toes to kind of like help elongate the body and so I can still tell that I am a little bit uncomfortable just because this is the first time I've ever one had to wear a swim shoe and then two take a picture in it and that is very like that's very intimidating. And so I am just really proud of it because I did it and I was very like the whole time going like, I, but even like before we got up to the shoot, like, I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I can do it, but I did it. And I am really, really proud of it. I feel like it's a great picture. It helped a lot too, like seeing a lot of positive comments and then the swimwear sold so well, you guys really loved it. So that helped me feel better about it as well. And I'm in a two piece, which is wild because never would have done that. And so I'm really, really proud of this. So I'm gonna put this one into the yes ma'am category. 
And then we had our second swimwear shoe and then I can just see the growth in it from taking this one and then like a month later going to do our second swim shoe. I feel like the swimsuit one just like did great things for my body. Really, really comfortable in it. This one we had a lot more spectators out because we were like at like a public area. So being able to like work around like with people watching and different things like that and just like really taking ownership of me and my body and being in a swimsuit. So super, super proud of this picture too. I love, and now I love shooting swimwear. So like, I think like this year I did even better than I did the year before. Um, just like growing in that confidence of like who I am as a person and owning my body for this. So this one, I also love great, great thing. So yes, ma'am. All right, so those are some good yes ma'am moments. Let's take it in to another time. This is also little baby Kim. This one is our best selling cardigan of all time. This one, this picture, I don't think I'll ever not be able to see. Um, this one I am, it's really funny too, just to see like the progressiveness of like how like we've changed too. This picture is very like dark and contrasted, whereas now like a lot of our pictures are like bright and airy, just like changing that around. It was also raining this day. I'm underneath a bridge. We put that contrast on there. You can see like the hardcore contour. I'm gonna, I'm kind of in between this one because I feel like it is like a great picture and I appreciate it because it's young baby Kim too, learning how to do the modeling thing again being like outside learning how to like twist and turn we needed to show that elbow patch off I wasn't really sure how to do it and that's when they told me to like just like put your hand up against like your like the end of your hair or something so you can like show that off so um, this is a great picture everybody seems to love it um, when you see it come across your feed just remember it's from four years ago but it's still me but I'm gonna put this one into the I'm okay with it because I feel like it's not a bad picture. It's just I'm young and young and fresh on the modeling scene here. So now we will do another one. We have four to go. We have four more and I'm gonna try to see if I can remember anything about these. Okay, this one, I feel like it doesn't really even look like me at all. Again, I had the two-tone hair color going on, so that must have just been what was going on in that phase of my life. You can see like where my normal hair is. I've got that clip up behind my hair, so you can see the extension color. Also, pouring down rain in this picture. And so that doesn't help anybody when it's pouring down rain. And I don't really know what I'm looking at, just per se, I just kind of like caught over there looking at something. It's not a terrible picture. I just don't really feel that that like really looks like me at all. So really makeup changes, you know, with like every year going on. But I'm gonna go into who is she because I don't even feel like that looks like me. That's not my face. Maybe that was my face. This is probably from like at least two or three years ago, I would say. It's been a while since that, since I've had that going on. All right, so now we will do this moment here. So this one was, I started learning more about tanning. So I definitely got some tanning going on in this picture. I have bright blonde hair, but I went shorter. And then I've got this nice big poof on the side here. I'm still living for the dark brow moment. Um, I used a nice like little gloss lipstick instead of like a normal color lipstick here. I don't hate it. I don't think that it's bad. I'm gonna think that I'm gonna do the um, who, I don't know. What, what would we rate this one? Because I don't think it's like a terrible picture. I just feel like it's like another like different version of me. I'm not mad at it. I just was still learning how to do makeup. So I'm gonna do the I'm okay with it. I don't really, like, I don't hate it. It just doesn't look, it's weird seeing what I look like now and then seeing what I looked like just a few years ago, trying to figure that out. I'm okay with it, I don't think it's terrible, right? It's not terrible. It's not that bad. Is it bad? You can rate it. You rate it and see what you say against what I say. We'll go from there. Okay, so we have two pictures to go. This one, I'm gonna pick another older picture of myself here. So this one, I am shooting outside and I'm still with the, like getting better at the two-tone hair here. I don't feel like it's like as bad, but I'm still living in the clipped back moment. And I'm still really trying to do the bold red lip and I just don't think it worked for me. But I tried, I tried really, really hard. And that's okay, it didn't work out. Luckily I've moved past that phase and I am, I actually hate wearing lipstick. That's like the worst 
part of a makeup thing for me is wearing lipstick. Um, so now I just try to do like a bare minimum, like little, little something on there instead of having like a bold bold color. And it's hard doing like bold colors because you never know what the clothes are going to look like against it and I should have learned that earlier. So don't like hate the picture. I still just feel like this is where we shot at the museum so it was like it's a pretty place to shoot and I feel like the coloring of the picture is really nice. It was poncho season and it's not bad. Don't hate it. Um, but I'm still going to say it's like not the look because I still just don't feel like the red lip will ever be in. So I'm not going to ever do it. I promise. I'll never do it again. <laughs> All right, and then the last picture I'm going to do is what I currently look like. So this is more of a recent picture from this year. I feel like I've gotten better at makeup. I don't have such a dark brown, uh, dark, dark, bold eye. We've learned to contour. We have all the same color hair with gray. I still wear extensions, so I still feel like it looks really nicely. I still am smiling, um, still looks really good. I feel like I'm way more comfortable in my body. It's been a long, long four year journey of learning to love yourself, learning how to move your body. You know, we shoot every single day. And so like you, I get to learn a lot doing that. And I am going to say that I'm okay with it. I still feel like I have some progress to be made. It's not my favorite picture of myself, but I also am not mad at it. I feel like it's a great um, if you see, okay, if you go back to the first picture we did, the one where I was like a literal baby, and you put that up to what I look like right now, I look like two totally different people. One age, I'm 30 now. Let that sink in. So I still feel like, you know, I've got a, I've got a little bit more older, a little bit more wrinkles that the moisturizer is trying to cover, learning about my body more, and then just like learning to love myself more through the process. So even though I dogged on myself a lot, it was a lot of fun. Um, I'm not mad about it because I see the same thing you guys see, so don't worry about it. And it was a fun experience. So little nice trip down memory lane, and I hope you guys liked it. I said that you could rate it, but don't. Don't do that. Don't hurt me like that. <laughs> Don't do it. Um, but it was a fun experience and I hope that you guys enjoyed it as well. So um, if you see all these pictures pop up on your social media, have a fun little trip down memory lane with me as well for that. So that completes our little fun video for this. If you liked the video, go ahead and give us a like and comment down below. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. We post every Thursday at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. So you always wanna make sure you tune in to see what kind of crazy things we're up to around here. Um, and we'll see you guys soon.